I hope you're having a wonderful Christmas Eve. Today it's uh, December 24, 2020, and today we're going to uh, bake uh, Guyanese sponge cake. So let's go. So here we have uh, all the ingredients for the sponge cake. So we have a pound of butter, room temperature, I hope it's soft enough, a pound of sugar, a pound of uh, flour, this is one pound of flour actually. Uh, we have the zest of an orange, the juice, the juice of, it, of the orange, a tablespoon of vanilla extract, and one tablespoon of baking powder. Here we have a dozen eggs at room temperature, and here we have some food coloring, green and red, that we're going to do some decorating on the cake. So, so for now, we're going to start with the butter. And the sugar. And now we're going to beat that. So I just want to talk a little bit before I start the, this machine about my memory of Christmas. For Christmas, what I remember is my mom baking sponge cake for me on Christmas Eve. And this is why I'm doing this. So this episode is dedicated to my mother, Sylvia Rajab. And I remember my job was to do exactly what I'm going to do here now. My job was to beat the butter with the sugar until the sugar melts. And trust me, that's a long job without the machine. So we're going to do it year 2020 style. So we've been uh, mixing the sugar and butter for about 15 minutes now. So I'm going to show you what that is like. I think this is fine. See, it's kind of creamy. So, I think it's fine. My mom always uh, uh, do it like that with her fingers. And this is what, when I was small, every time I think it was ready, she would say, no, nope, you have to mix it some more. I think it's fine. The heat, when you bake it, we'll melt the sugar and it'll be fine. So we'll put that back. Now we're going to add the eggs one at a time. Um, there are actually 10 eggs here, not, not a dozen eggs. So we're going to add this at one at a time. So just it's uh, we've been adding eggs one at a time. It's really fluffy and nice. Uh, just you know, make sure all of the the, the sides of the, the container is clean so that everything is mixed in. So we're going to continue again. And we're just going to keep adding the eggs one by one. So this is the last egg. I'm going to now add the vanilla extract, one tablespoon. Then add the, add the, the zest of an orange.
also the juice of the orange that we left in. So this, uh, all the wet ingredients are in there. So what's left to add now is, is the flour and the baking powder. What I did was I mixed the baking powder with the flour to mix it up. Now, I just want to tell you something. I use regular flour, but you know, it's a cake. So they say to use cake flour, but I didn't want to go buy cake flour just to make, to make one cake. So what you do is for every cup, of flour, you take two tablespoons out, out. Take two tablespoons of flour out, and you add two tablespoons of cornstarch. So that's what you have to do for, for the, the flour. So now this flour is homemade cake flour. So now we're going to start to add this to the mixture. Uh, first, I want to show you I want to show you what it looks like. So you just have a, a few of this. You know, that's the texture that it is at this moment. So now we're going to add the flour to it and then it's going to become thicker. So that's it. So I'll add the flour slowly one at a time. Here uh, I took about a cup of the mixture, or well, one cup in this bowl or one cup in this bowl, and then I've been adding food coloring. You add it to the desired color that you want, you know, and then you mix it up. And then we're going to create like a, a design in the middle of the cake. Oh. So you mix it up. Now this green looks kind of festive, so we leave it like that. I have green fingers now. And the red looks good also. So we'll, we'll work with these colors. Um, I'm going to start to put it in the pan. What we did was... Um, we, we butter the pan and then we put flour inside and then we put a piece of uh, paper under. So, so what we do is like I put a piece of parchment paper under. Don't use wax paper. Put parchment paper and then I put like one layer of the of the mixture. Then we'll take the, the red and we'll add it here. Nothing too fancy. It's all gonna. So now we add the rest of this on top of it. So you spread the the, the what you call it the yellow color on top, the, the cake mixture on top. And you take a stick, just put it inside and you do some swirls. Just to add the green, let it mix a bit. You just 
hit it down so we have to get rid of the oils, the, the, the ear actually. Clean your bowl out on top. So your oven, my oven is ready at uh, 350. So we're going to put this in to bake for 45 minutes. So, time is up. We're going to check the cake now to see how that is. This side has some green and on the cake there you can see red and green. If we cut another piece, you can see the green with the red. And there you go. So I'd like to wish all of my family, my friends, all my customers from Dando Sports and uh, I want to wish you very Merry Christmas and all the best for the New Year's and hope that 2021 brings us all joy, happiness, free of pandemic. Let's uh, all stay safe, stay home, wash your hands, wear a mask if you can, social distance and take care of each other. Uh, if I uh, just want to ask you again to please subscribe with the button on your right and to like and share my videos. This is uh, my, my Christmas cake sponge cake that I used to bake with my mom when I was a kid. So Merry Christmas to all. <laughs>